Hey, this is Professor Perez again. In this video, we are going to look at applications of proportions. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready? Yeah. Okay, in this problem, we are going to do applications of proportions. This means word problems. We have to set up the proportions here. So let's get started right there. Applications of proportions. Suppose a car travels 65 miles per hour. How many miles will the car travel in seven hours? Remember, 65 miles per hour means 65 miles per one hour. Okay, we are given that quantity for this problem. Now, we have to set up a proportion. Remember, a proportion is an equation of two ratios. Here's our given ratio, 65 miles per one hour. Now we are asked to find how many miles will the car travel in seven hours. Now the first thing to remember is when you set up a proportion problem, the units have to match on both sides. In other words, since we have miles per hour on this side of our proportion, on the other side we must also have miles per hour. Now this question asks us how many miles will the car travel in seven hours? So we're looking for miles. So we're going to put x in the numerator because x is the unknown quantity which is representing miles. In the denominator, we put the seven hours because we want to know how many miles in seven hours. And there's our proportion problem. Notice the units on both sides match. So our proportion is 65 over 1 equals x over 7. And now we can cross multiply. So Charlie, what's 65 times 7? 455. Very nice. And 1 times x is x. 1x. How do you write 1x? Like that. And that's our answer. X equals 455 miles. Therefore, how many miles will the car travel in seven hours? The answer is 455 miles. Let's do another one. On a road map. This is a paper road map. The scale indicates that one inch represents 70 miles. This means that the ratio of inches to miles is one inch per 70 miles. That's on the road map. If the measured distance on the map between two cities is eight and three quarters inches, how many miles apart are they? Note, eight and three quarters inches is equal to eight and 75 hundredths or 8.75. So let's set up our proportion problem. On the left-hand side, we are going to write our given ratio. And our given ratio is that one inch represents 70 miles. Now the unknown quantity that we're looking for is miles because it asks us how many miles apart are they, the two cities. So this time, notice we have x in the denominator and we put 8.75 inches in the numerator. The reason we did it this way, because on the left-hand side, of our proportion, we had inches on top and miles in the denominator. And remember, if you put inches on the top and miles in the denominator on the left-hand side, you must have the same units arranged in the same way on the right-hand side. Therefore, you need inches on top, miles on the bottom, and since we're looking for miles, x shows up in the bottom of our proportion on the right-hand side. So here's our proportion, 1 over 70 equals 8.75 over x. And now we can cross multiply. X times 1 is X. 70 times 8.75. Charlie, what is that? 612.5. Very nice there. 612.5. And so that's our answer. 612.5 miles. And that's how far apart the cities actually are. Okay, let's do another one here. A traveling salesman is paid 22 cents. 0.22 for every mile he travels using his personal vehicle. No, this means that the ratio of dollars to miles is, pay attention Charlie, 0.22 dollars per one mile, or 22 cents per mile, right? If the salesman traveled 473 miles last month, how much money did he receive for his travel? Let's begin with our given quantity. It's $0.22 per one mile. Now, since we are looking for a dollar amount, our variable x is going to show up in the numerator. 
because that's X dollars per 473 miles. Notice how the units match on both sides of the proportion. Therefore, our proportion equation is 0 0.22 over 1 equal to X over 473. And now we cross multiply. Charlie, what's 473 times 0 0.22? 104.06. 104.06. Very nice. And 1 times X is X. And that is our answer. 104.06 dollars. That means 104 dollars and 6 cents. There you go. We just solved some proportion problems. Let's take a break and we hope to see you again soon.